away from the deadly coronavirus outbreak. Everyday situations can be stressful for those on the autism spectrum. People with autism often find unfamiliar situations stressful or anxiety-inducing. But now, a school in Berkshire in England is using virtual reality to help autistic children change their day-to-day -day lives and make it better. More in this special report. Take a look. Cutting-edge technology of virtual reality has proved to be a blessing for these young children, some of them with the most severe forms of autism. Dexter finds it very hard to, to process the world around him, and when he's in VR, it allows him to focus much more. He has um, a lot more concentration and less anxiety, and he's, he enables him to experience things which would otherwise be very difficult for him to, to do. Uh, and it, it's a great tool for um, allowing him to, to focus and, and progress his learning. A specialist autism care facility in Berkshire in England is making use of VR headsets to help children acclimatize to scenarios they're likely to encounter outside of school. <laughs> Is it better? Okay. You mean that? Yes? <laughs> the facility uses virtual reality headsets to slowly introduce real life scenarios. And all this in the comfort of their classrooms. <laughs> Our young people, they have very difficult is with sensory issues so they can find it over, overwhelming going for very busy places or transitioning to a new place so they like what is familiar what is they like their routine so this the VR sets allow them to experience new realities and probably help them with transitions when they have to face a new place uh, mm -hmm. The autism facility cares for around 95 young people who are at the severe end of the autism spectrum. And not just virtual reality, big data also comes to use. The centre is testing a new data collection system called Prior Insight. This will gather a detailed picture of each young person's day, including what they eat, how much exercise they're doing and how they're behaving. And that information looks at things like incidents, um, seizure activity, food and drink input, toiletry input, personal care, any activities they've done and any sleep data. We're hoping to not only increase our knowledge and awareness about the world of young, the world of young people with autism at Prize Court, but we're also hoping to be able to, in time, share that with the wider autism world. In a swimming pool. Are you already on a swimming pool? Yeah. Wow. As more and more autistic students use these VR headsets, it proves a technology-dependent world can be a more inclusive one as well. Bureau Report, we on World is One.